Welcome to Simple Software Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage prospects in Excel. So say you're given a list of prospects here and you're kind of anxious to get started contacting these people, but you want to be organized first. Well, there's a pretty easy way to do this in Excel using some, some simple functions and formulas that I think will be really easy to help you manage these uh, as you work through them. So one of the first things I would do is add add a insert a column here so I'm going to highlight column A I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on insert so first off I want to know have I contacted these people or not so um, so later on I can I can filter by this result so as I work through my list if I make contact with them I can either like put an X in there or something simple you can do is we can highlight these cells here next to the names and we can add a little drop down that says yes or no so I've highlighted these cells click on data click on data validation and then click on data validation again and then what we want to do here under allow we want a list because we want to make a drop down list and then for source a lot of times they want you to click on some cells or something, but, but a cool trick that you can do is just type your text in here with the comma separating your options. So if we want our options to be yes or no, that's all you have to type, yes, comma, space, no, and then click on OK. Now what this has done is in each of these cells, there's a drop down for yes or no. And then you can just hit delete and that will delete what's what you've selected in the cell but it won't delete this drop down so that's pretty handy okay so then the next thing you might want to do is add a date of contact so when did i contact this customer or when did i attempt to contact them so just a simple column here so we're going to click on here we're going to right click format the cells and I'm just going to select date so then I can have the date however I want it so if I want you know the four digit year or however I want it I can sort it that way so I'm just going to click on OK that way I know that my numbers format properly the next thing is when I do contact them I want to know the results of my contact so if I call them what happened so I'm just going to type in results here now I can type in individual results here, but that can get tedious or, you know, I could word it slightly differently. So it's, it's not going to be consistent. So something I can do here is I can add another drop down, but we're going to do this a slightly different way. So what I've done is I've added another tab here, which I recommend doing. You can also do it right here in the sheet, but if you start inserting um, rows, columns, whatever, it can separate your data and can kind of make for funky results. So what I did is I created a tab I just named it results and then I put down some different results here okay so I just labeled it result at the top so I know uh, what this is supposed to be in case I want to have different drop downs with different options here you can just put what each list is at the top and you know have it there so I'm going to highlight these results like this I'm going to just click and drag so I select all of them now up here where you see a2 or at least I do this is the name box okay so I'm going to click in here and I'm going to overwrite this I'm going to type in results okay now pay special attention to how you have written this so if you use any capitalization or anything um, make sure you take note of that I'm going to hit enter so now wherever I click here I can click results and it will automatically highlight this section so where this is helpful is is in making that drop down now keep in mind if you want to add to this if you type down here it's not going to be included so you're going to need to um, either right click if you don't have anything else in here you can right click and click on insert and add your option there and see it's included it in there so um, just something to keep in mind so um, you're the name of this selection of cells is right here if you forget what it is okay so we've we've done that we've made our list here let's go back into prospects so under results we're gonna highlight all of these again and you can also just do this in the first 
like in one cell and then copy and paste it down. Either way works. So I've highlighted all the cells that I want this drop down in. I'm back on the data tab and I'm going to click on data validation again. Okay, so allow, again we want list, but this time we want to pull from that set of cells that we created. Okay, so we're going to click in source, we're going to type equals and then exactly the name of that section as we named it. So equals results. Okay, we're going to click on OK. Now we've got drop downs here. So there's our results. So it's exactly what we have on this tab here. Okay, so again, if you need to add, just make some room in the middle, add in the middle, you can reorganize how you need to or sort, um, but that that makes it really easy. Okay, so then I think it's always good to add a notes column. So this is just going to be where I can put my notes. So if I, you know, um, have interested as a result, I can type in any anything I should know about, um, you know, why they're interested or why they're not interested or anything like that. Okay, so you can go ahead at any other columns of information that you think would be important to have here and then what you can do is I'm going to just select this whole sheet here by clicking in the corner here and then again on the data tab I'm going to click on filter. So now what this allows me to do is I can I'm just going to select yes and no here. So what this allows me to do is if I want to filter just by people I have contacted so maybe I want to have a follow-up call I can then select just yes and that's going to filter my results to just that okay I'm gonna fill in some information here and I'll pop right back so we can go over some a few more handy things for you okay so say I spent about a week contacting all of these customers I have all of my information filled in here or as complete as I you know as I can get it so say it's time for me to follow up so since I have pretty consistent information here and I have my filters I can easily filter who I want to contact. So first thing I might want to do is look at customers that I was unable to contact. So I can just uncheck yes. So this will filter just those customers who I was unable to actually get in contact with. Um, I can even filter down more here. So if there was no, if I want to just focus on those who didn't leave any um, an answer or maybe I just want to start with those who I left a message with because I've already left one point of contact with them and I want to follow up and just make sure that um, that I'm able to reach them so I can uncheck no answer so I'm just looking at those that I did not contact who I left a message with so now I can go through and I can contact these customers again and as I work through these customers I can then update so if I was able to get in contact with them I can change my results I can change whether I contacted them and get that all updated there okay so if I want to change uh, if I want to clear these filters I can just go right up here clear that and there we go. So it makes it really easy to keep track of who I've contacted, who I haven't contacted, the results, and then any notes. Now, if you have fairly consistent notes, you can also filter by your notes as well. But since I left this one just for free typing, they're going to be a little bit different here. But say I want to follow up with just those that I called. Let's see. So if I have um, left voicemail on 1110 so I want to follow up with all of those okay so maybe on 1111 I want to follow up with those that I called the day before I can do that and I can I can contact those people very easily so it's pretty pretty functional and pretty easy to set up so I hope this was helpful to you don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful videos leave me a like or a comment if this was helpful or if you have questions or ideas you have fantastic ideas and I love it and have a great day thank you so much for tuning in